This is going to be a jam video for my Oshkosh guitar people, and it is the basic 12-bar blues progression, and I have it in the key of E. However, what I've done that's a little bit different than a lot of jam tracks is I'm only using power chords, so you can choose whether or not you want this to be in E minor, E major, or some sort of a, a hybrid. Um, however you want is fine. The power chord version of this chord progression is extremely flexible. So I'm going to quickly start out by showing what I would do as a beginning bass player goofing around with this. So this is obviously my guitar, but I've got it down an octave or two. So it, here's what I would do on the bass. I would go. So that's probably what I would do as a bass player, at least to begin with, and then you can experiment with doing different um, different patterns, whatever you're up for. Then for guitar, I would simply just go with my, to start out with for simplicity, simple E minor pentatonic, which would be. And then once that becomes easy, Let's see here. Once that becomes easy, you might take the same pattern and play it at the um, the ninth fret, and that becomes E major instead of minor. So how you would relate to the to the chords would be a little bit different. And then you could add your blues patterns if you want, or your blues notes. And then you can practice all of the different patterns in relation to however you would like to line that particular one up. Okay, so here is the jam track and I'm just going to let it play and you can have fun with it.
Okay, hopefully that is helpful to goof around with. Um, if you have any questions, ask them in lessons. So the chords are, it's four, well, you know the chords for 12 bar blues in E, hopefully. Um, it would be, the chords would be an E, an A, and a B. Um, and then you can add the dominant seven to any of those if you'd like to. You can also have those in minor or major for the way this jam track is laid out. I hope this was helpful. Um, line up your pentatonic patterns as if one was either at the ninth fret for a major context, like a major key, and one is at the zero or the twelfth fret for a minor context. And in rock and roll and blues, a lot of times you'll have minor pentatonics played over major chords, and that can be confusing if you don't know what's happening, but if you do it and just trust that it'll work, it can have some pretty cool sounds too, and you'll be able to catch on soon. So I hope this is a helpful video, and I hope you have fun jamming with it. If you need any expl explanations to anything, um, just ask during lessons. Have a good day. Bye.